up? How's it going? Um, today I'm going to go over how to draw dead Mario. Basically like a zombie Mario. This is going to be four intermediate, so I warn you early. Uh, you're going to see me go through the whole process, and uh, so let's just jump right into it. This is uh, pre-recorded, and uh, what I ended up doing was kind of penciling out an idea randomly, and I was thinking to myself, what what is it that I want to do? And a big part of this was... I had heard of Mario being, um, you know, um, like Mario like is uh, passed away or something like that. It was probably like a some sort of um, random article I saw, and I was like, oh, okay, that's a cool idea. What if it was like a zombie undead Mario? That'd be nice. So for the most part, I was just kind of going over it, um, and I went over it really quick. I'm going to blast through this part, and it's a very light pencil, which you can barely see on the screen. Don't worry about it, though. The The pencil doesn't really matter. What really matters is the ink that I'm about to go into. And um, I ended up using um, uh, Faber-Castell P-I-T-T -T Artist Pen. Um, they come in different sizes. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. And... Um, Essentially, they're really good. They're very, they're like uh, cheaper microns or uh, you know Pigma microns. They're like cheaper versions of that. By cheaper, I mean cheaper in price, not not quality. I think they're pretty close, pretty close. But uh, the whole undead Mario thing kind of came around um, just because I'm like thinking of different ideas for the channel, and uh, I know this is a skull drawings channel and a tattoo drawings channel, but I want to spread out more and do various things. Um, and I just thought this was interesting. Um, took too long. Uh, I will put, if you want to see fully uncut videos of me drawing from beginning to end, like maybe hour long drawings, and if you want me to post them that way, uh, let me know in the comments. I will do that. The reason I shortened it to 10 minutes is because I didn't want to bore you pretty much. Uh, the original drawing, this one, I believe was about 40 minutes or so, 45. But I sped it up to 10 minutes and I'm doing the overlay of the audio here. Uh, I'm a huge Mario fan. I bought that Mario Anniversary thing on Nintendo, the Switch. Um, I haven't actually opened it though. I just bought it because I heard it was they're gonna discontinue it. So that's basically it's where you put the um, they put like three of the older games. They put like Mario Galaxy, Mario um, Sunshine, which I barely remember, but I know I played it and I beat it, and uh, the Mario 64. They put it all in one. Um, I guess little mini cartridge, whatever that they have in the Switch. So that was pretty much what I, um, you know, I did. Well, I mean, that's why I can't came back in my mind. But not just that. I love Mario. I, I get Mario figurines. Um, I know I'm like, you know, in my 30s, but I still get Mario figurines. I think they're awesome looking. They're usually well designed because they're so easy to, you know, produce products for because their designs are so cool. Um, it's amazing how Mario and Sonic were competing for so long, right? And Mario games just became amazing, like as of right now, when you flash forward 20, 30 years. And um, and Sonic games are kind of not so great right now, right? Um, at least currently. This is in uh, 2021. I'm recording this. Um, so I made the sharp teeth here, and I made some kind of frills at the end of his mustache, and I wanted him to seem you know, kind of gross. And I was like, how am I going to make this character gross? Uh, I'm just trying to figure that out. So a lot of it's teeth frilled. I, I did some veins in the eye there. Um, and I just kind of was thinking, I don't know what to do here. I mean, it, most of this is going to be frilled everywhere. It's hard to make him um, like part skeleton without like taking away his um, kind of like his notoriety and the, a few of the features that make him look like Mario. So I put the ear there. Maybe chunks of it are are not there. That's I thought that was cool looking. Continuing to go in here. Um, just kind of starting from inside out. And so there's a couple of things you can do. You can start from the outside in or inside out. And I went from inside out. So I start drawing on the inside and then go outward. Outside in is if you're not sure you're going to be able to keep it on the page. If you're afraid it's going to run off the page. That's how you do outside in. Continue to go in here putting in uh, little scars and little details. He's such a cool design. It's it's hard to not like it's it's hard to mess up Mario. Mario's such a cool design. 
I've been a Nintendo fan since uh, the original, the original uh, platform from uh, late '80s. All right, going over here and drawing the top portion of his hat. Don't worry, I'll move that into the image a little bit more later. And just kind of pushing forward here. And I wanted his M to look pretty cool as well. And so at this stage, I already have like kind of my framework, right? We have his framework, and now I'm kind of thinking, okay, I'm just going to add more details, add more details. You know, right now, um, he looks a little bit like homeless Mario, but you know, what makes him not look like dirty homeless Mario? The teeth. Private teeth, sharp teeth are pretty pretty hard, and and I know just because he's a zombie or something doesn't mean he would have sharp teeth, but I just kind of wanted to put that in there. I was gonna call this originally like um, Evil Mario, but Evil Mario is like Wario. Going in more, just kind of mess it around, having a fun time here, and that's pretty much what the goal of this stuff is: is really to have fun. I mean that that really is the goal. You want to have fun and do what you're gonna do. Can you even go in here into the eyebrows? Uh, picking at those there. Just kind of like now it's like, a lot of this is like thinking. It's kind of like what am I gonna do next? Um, you know, bolding out the lines and the eyes, and that's to bring focus now. After you draw, usually you want to bring focus to a certain area. Now, obviously, it's to a head, right? Like a head vignette here. It's going to be the eyes. So I wanted to bold those out. Whew. Sorry. I'm feeling this late at night. Also, do me a huge favor. If you like this kind of subject matter, um, hit the like button because it's really going to let me know whether to post more on here. And don't forget, subscribe. Subscribing helps a lot, and then clicking that bell icon so you get notifications. Um, going in here, thickening out lines, just kind of figuring stuff out. And so, so another thing I want to talk about really quick is the um, you have to kind of uh, pay attention to details sometimes. Where I understand that part can be very. Um, I mean, personally, some people find it fun, some people don't. Some people like finding the original idea, and then when they have to like actually go in and you know fix things up and that kind of thing, they're like, oh man, it's just like a lot of work. Ugh. But it's re it's really enjoyable. I I'm the kind of guy that likes um, the detail and stuff. I think it's very enjoyable. I think it's very fun. I think it's um, probably my favorite part of the whole process is actually detailing it. But I need to do is. You know, really have more fun designing, I think. Um, I, I do do it, and I do it well enough, but I would like to enjoy it a lot more. And, and that, that again, is, um, again, it's kind of your prerogative. It's a lot of it's a mindset. Um, how ready are you exactly? Like, like how, um, how do you say this? Like, it, it, honestly, I don't really know what to say other than it is a mindset. Uh, the more you enjoy stuff, the better you're going to get at it. And I think that's something that you should really, you know, take into account. You're going to get better the more you do stuff, you know. All right, going in here. Just, all right. And um, the thing about Mario is that Mario is somebody that I want to draw over and over. I only draw him a couple of times, but I would like to draw him over and over. It's uh, like a really cool... Um, every man character like I, I just feel like I, what I really want is a new movie and not a not, not a live action movie I feel like Mario is one of those things that you can't make a live action movie tell me if you disagree or not but I feel like there's just no way you can make a live action Mario I think it has to be like this CG movie you know like um, like some sort of Pixar movie or DreamWorks I think it has to stay in that realm otherwise it, it just becomes really weird all right, come on. Eat that. Continue to darken things up. Again, you're picking at things. You're continuing to really detail things out, and uh, that's mostly the thought process I have. Um, and like I said, my favorite part is the detailing. So once I'm done with a general line art, I'm just like, cool. 
now I can go in and uh, do something right I could just go in do something and that's you know like my prerogative um, so uh, you got to think about it for yourself what kind of artist you are the more you do this stuff the more you wrap your brain around it so the more you draw over and over again the more you wrap your brain around it. you're like oh I like doing this where priest where before it was kind of like you're leaping off a bridge or something you know you're leap you're going into this unknown area and you're like I don't know if it's gonna look good I don't know you know that that's kind of the way I was when I um I used to work as a caricature artist and it's like it just feels like every time I drew a good face I got lucky it's like oh wow I got lucky and, and you don't want to be lucky you don't you want to be more confident and confidence comes through experience and um, that experience is really reflected in, um, in, in you know and again in like time spent doing this stuff and so that's kind of what I want for you I want you to like do as much of this stuff as you can and your experience will uh, kind of really recover it and make it make it awesome, you know. All right, pushing in and um, pretty much almost done. A lot of the stuff again is just toiling around. Um, what I what I ended up started doing and I was like, you know what? I really want color and. When I drew this kind of like, I wanted like a designerly ba pattern here in the back, and it was gonna be this like blood spat splatter thing, and I'm like, this is this is all right, but it needs color, and so what I ended up doing was grabbing the, uh, I have this uh, red marker that I got from a sandwich shop, and I don't know why it's just sitting here, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna fill it in, and I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna fill in the the blood pool there, whatever you call it, Deadpool. No, I mean just the, the the blood splatter kind of thing, and then I'm gonna put the eye. I'm gonna make his eye red, and I'm really gonna overdo the um, you know the undead Mario demon thing. Again, I'm gonna say zombie Mario, but um, you know that was kind of the mindset I was on. But yeah, anyways, that was it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. I mean, I'm still feeling stuff in here, but um. If you are with me to this point, do me a huge favor and like share the video or check out the links in the description. Um, I'm trying to build this channel up again. I'd like to update here maybe every, maybe like two times a week. Um, anyways, but yeah, try that out. I mean, again, if you did enjoy it, let me know. Otherwise, watch the rest of the process, um, I guess without my voice. And I would say really um, try to understand what I'm thinking which I already, I tried to walk you through that whole thought process, but um, let me know if you guys draw yourselves. I mean, I mean, like how I, if you draw something like this, um, maybe post it somewhere um, and then link me to it. I'd love to look at it. So, anyways, that's it. Thank you very much, and I will see you later.